Senator Ted Cruz serves on the Judiciary Committee. He joins us now. Senator, good morning to you. Welcome back to America's Newsroom. Thank you, Sandra. Good morning. Good to be with you. First of all, do you want to see this question on the census? Absolutely. I mean, this is just common sense. The Constitution gives to the federal government the responsibility to do a census every 10 years. That census needs to be an accurate count. It needs to count the people who are in this country. And for virtually every census, for, for over a, a century, it has included a question, are you a citizen or not? Uh, you, you know, one of the problems as we're debating public policy is that a lot is unknown. So, for example, you, you, see, you see the figure that there are 11 to 12 million illegal aliens. You see that bandied around quite a bit. The truth of the matter is no one really knows whether that's 11 or 12 million or 20 million or a bigger number. And, and, and so it's important that the census do an accurate count. Do and it's see, basic common sense that you, that you ask about citizenship as part of it. Common sense is different from the legality of it, though. The, the Supreme Court uh, obviously mm -hmm. didn't like the, the administration's justification for adding this question, saying it seems to have been contri contrived. Do you see well, a legal I, way I, forward? I, I, I do. I will say Chief Justice Roberts' opinion in that case I thought was disappointing. The Chief Justice sided with the liberal justices in concluding that that... that, that Essentially, he did not credit the Commerce Department's justification. He basically said that they didn't cross their T's and dot their I's. They didn't execute it well. I, I, I thought that was an unfortunate decision. But the, but the Supreme Court majority also says quite clearly, of course, you can ask this question. And, and, and that ain't complicated. As a legal matter, virtually every census for over 100 years has asked the question. Bill Clinton asked the question whether there was citizenship. Barack Obama asked the question whether there was citizenship. Now, there are two different censuses that are done. There's the long-form census and the short-form census. And this dispute is whether to include it on the short-form census as well. It's been on the long-form for a long time. But as a legal matter, you, you, if you can do it on the one, you can obviously do it on the other. Does it leave the door open, then, for a better justification? Is that what happens? Yeah. Uh, they did, and the court was quite explicit on okay. that. Now, listen, that's not to be said, not, not to say that the court uh, won't be political and, and, and won't try to second guess it, but it shouldn't as a legal matter and constitutional matter. This is quite straightforward, and, and, I, and I'm heartened that both the president and Attorney General Barr have indicated their intention to go forward. This is a clear authority of the president and the administration. In fact, it's a constitutional responsibility, and, and they need to do it. They need to do it accurately, they need to do it right. But part of doing it right is, is, is asking basic questions, including, are you a citizen? And now we know that the House will vote soon on contempt charges for Barr, as well as uh, Wilbur Ross. They want to know the real reason why the administration added this question to begin with. They want the documents behind that. I see you're shaking your head. Respond to that quickly before we move on to the border. Oh, oh look, the, the, the House right now is all politics all the time. Speaker Pelosi and House Democrats are, are, are driven by just this, this blinding, white-hot rage and hatred of the president. They're all about indictments. They're all about uh, uh, investigations and subpoenas. And, and, and ultimately, I, I think we'll see next year impeachment because their base is filled with rage. I'll tell you, the American people, the American people are happy the economy is booming, are happy that we've got the lowest unemployment in 50 years, are happy that we've got the lowest African-American unemployment ever recorded, the lowest Hispanic unemployment ever recorded. Uh, and, and, and so I wish the Democrats would stop playing politics and instead focus on common sense policies that, that focus on jobs and, and, and the real needs of the American people. Which brings us down to the southern border. We know you just returned from a trip there. Yeah. Senator, what did you see? What did you learn? Well, on, on Monday of last week, I was down at the border in the Rio Grande Valley. I've been down there many, many times. And, and we have a full-blown blown crisis. I mean, it is horrific. In the month of May, over 144,000 people were apprehended coming into this country illegally. It is a crisis. And, and what we're seeing in particular is more and more kids, children who are being brutalized. They're being brutalized by human traffickers. They're be being brutalized coming over. And the reason for the crisis is congressional Democrats, in particular, the loopholes in the laws. I'll tell you one of the stunning things I heard down at the border last week. It used to be several years ago that of the adult males coming in this country, roughly 2% had a child with them. You know what that number is today? 50% of adult males now have a child. I saw in one detention facility what they call daddy daycare, because it's all these single adult males 
that have a little kid. And it's because Congress has screwed this up. The Democrats have put in place loopholes that say to a human trafficker, a drug trafficker, if you bring a child, if you grab a little boy, grab a little girl and bring them with you, that child is a get out of jail free card and you'll get let go. That, that is cruel, it is heartless, it, it is inhumane, and we need to end it. And I know you are addressing that humanitarian crisis. By the way, as DHS mm -hmm. has now requested a thousand more troops to head down to the border, the yeah. Pentagon yeah. hasn't approved that request. But as far as the humanitarian crisis that you are describing, Senator, you have penned a letter to the acting DHS secretary. You're asking yes. to lean on the generosity of the American people and American charitable organizations to donate to individuals in the U.S. Customs and Border Protection's custody. What is your goal here? What are you asking for? Well, sure. Again, this is, ba this is basic common sense. What I've asked the DHS secretary is to implement a policy that they can receive donations. They can receive donations from Americans in terms of diapers, in terms of supplies. Look, the reason th th this became problematic is, th is that congressional Democrats stonewalled and blocked the funding to deal with this border crisis. And so I, 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 it is simple common sense to say that, that, that if if a local church or charity or citizens want to donate supplies and they're needed, the DHS ought to be able to accept it. I think there's enough flexibility in the law to allow right. that, and so I'm asking the secretary to implement a policy to do that. I'm running out of time here. I have to ask you about these charges against Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Nancy yeah. Pelosi says Alex Acosta, the president's labor secretary, must go. I know you tweeted out on the issue. Mm -hmm. You said his conduct was despicable. Everyone yeah. who participated should be vigorously prosecuted. Speaking, obviously, about Jeffrey Epstein, as far as Alex Acosta, should he have mm -hmm. to go here? Well, listen, Epstein's conduct, as, as you said, was despicable. I think ped pedophiles, those who target children, it is a horrific evil. I'm glad that he's being prosecuted. I think everyone who was involved in this crime, who participated in abusing children, they should be prosecuted as well. And that may well include, as you know, Epstein is a big, big Democratic fundraiser and, gonna, and, and donor. is a close friend of Bill Clinton's. I think we need to follow the evidence where it I'm goes. I'm out of time here, but Alex yeah. Acosta, the labor secretary, he was involved in that secret uh, plea deal in 2008. Should he have to go? I only have a few seconds left. Well, look, he was the U.S. attorney. I, I'm concerned about the allegations, but the Department of Justice has an ongoing investigation. I think we should find out what happened. I, I think we should have imposed okay. the toughest penalty we could have based on the evidence, and, and I think we need to inquire if we did that. Senator Ted Cruz, great to have you back here. Come back soon. Thank you. Absolutely.